and let me not ever see you again. What happened to you? I, I had an attack and then I started vomiting blood. I thought I was going to die. Oh, no. No, baby, you're not going to die. Nothing is going to happen to you. Did, did, did you succeed? Did you, did you get the documents? <sighs> there were no more properties. What do you mean there? there are no more properties? Your stepbrother sold all the properties and lost all the money to gambling. Oh my God, hmm? you must give him for me. No, baby. You don't have to worry about that. Think about your health first. He must be for making me go through this, this, this slow but painful death. He must kill him for me. Listen, Ivy. There's always another way out. Another way out. See, I have a transaction I have to make that will fetch us some money. Transaction? Yeah. What's transaction? Don't, don't worry about that, okay? All you need to do now is relax and catch some sleep. Every other thing will be well taken care of. Okay? Come on. Um, I'll go get... <laughs> Something to wipe off this blood from your face, okay? <coughs> relax, baby, relax. Relax. Mm. Mm. that your stepsister's life is at stake here and you have to show some concern. Look, just tell me when you want me to make the move. <laughs> I think I like your courage. Sit down. We'll make the move tomorrow. I'll give you the check and drop you off at the bank. Okay? 
I'm Eric Tommy. Are you very sure you can handle this? Just give me the check and all the details. Good. Very good. Just make yourself comfortable and I'll, I'll be with you in a minute. Okay? That's the check and your international passport. So all I need to do is pay in this check and then collect the teller and walk away. That's all. Just ask them to effect immediate transfer. Use the same bank. Okay. So how do I meet you afterwards? Call me with this number. I will locate you and then I'll pick you up. Situation on our hands. A situation? Yes, sir. Chief Emenike is supposed to be dead, right? What sort of question is that? You can't believe it. There's one Mr. Michael Jadeshola in the banking hall with a check for 35 million naira, supposedly signed by the late Chief Emenike just yesterday. Impossible. Maybe Mrs. Emenike no, sir. issued the check. No, 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 no. I contacted his wife. And his wife said he's not aware of any check that was issued yesterday. Let me see the check. I have already called in the police. Good, 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 good. Um, the check will be here. All right, sir. Uh, you send a young man in. And when the police arrive, you bring them in. All right, sir. Hello, Mr. Michael. Hey, okay. how do you do? How do you do? Please sit down. Thank you. I personally um, invited you in to apologize for the delay um, in the bank. I, our systems are down, and it will take about 20 minutes to effect the transfer and then give you the original copy of your teller. So, um, make yourself comfortable. Can I even offer you anything to drink? No, you wait. No, I'm okay. Are you sure? I'm fine. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Are you Mr. Michael? Oh, yes, I am. You are under arrest. Under arrest? For what? When you get to the station, you will know. Please come with us. Gentlemen, please move. I, I don't understand. What, what is going on here? Mr. Michael, please comply with the police. Submit the check from the chief. Okay. Meanwhile, this whole place must be cleared, okay? That's what I arranged for immediately. And uh, once the check cleared, we withdraw the money in bits from various accounts. That's huh? the problem, boss. And uh, 
we'll leave the country as usual. That's cool. But this time around, we have to be hasty about it. Good. Okay? Yes. Mr. Michael, once again, how did you come about the check? Officer, I already told you. I, I, are you suggesting that I stole the check? I told you, the check was issued to me yesterday by, by Chief Emenike. I don't think that is possible. Mr. Michael, Chief Emenike was murdered last month in his house. How could a dead man have given you a check? What? You, you mean that the chief has... Yes! That is a dead man shark. When he was murdered, his shark book disappeared. But we were at the bank with a check purportedly signed and dated yesterday by a dead man. That makes us murder suspect number one. Officer, officer, please wait, wait, wait. There's a mix up somewhere. Jesus Christ. Officer, look, please, you have to believe me. The check was issued to me yesterday by somebody. I mean, his, his, name is, uh, his name is Stanley. Officer. Okay, look, honestly, my, my name is not Michael Jadeshola. My real name is Eric. <laughs> uh, mister, I don't know what you call yourself. You have to make a statement telling us everything you know. We'll pick it from there tomorrow. Chief Emenike's murderer has been apprehended and you never cared to let me know. The police arrested the criminal right on their premises. I didn't have the courtesy of informing me when you know you've kept my 40 million naira check pending because of what I knew nothing about. Calm down, Mr. Stanley. We were only being precautious. Precautious, my foot! Do you know how much damage you've cost my business? Do you know that? I think we should contact our lawyers and institute a case. That is it. No, no, yes, no. That won't be necessary. That won't be necessary. Look, I can assure you that the check will be paid today. Hmm? Particularly now that the culprit to chief murder is for the police. Uh, Mr. Kennedy, Kennedy, sir. Please effect payments and transfer immediately. I'm authorizing it. All right. Hmm? Uh, Mr. Stanley, please go with him to the banking hall. Sign the back of the check and fill in the teller. Hmm? Once again, we apologize for the mix up. I'm sorry, but. You know how it is, tying somebody's money down on business. It's all right. Sorry. Thank you. Are you sure this is the place? You better know what's our time or else I'll throw you behind bars for six months before you open this case again. Yeah, officer, I'm sure this, this is the house. His name is Stanley. Sir, there's nobody here. What? This place looks deserted.
You have a point. There's a notice to that effect. Liar. Officer. See yourself. Bring him along. Officer, it's not possible. Does it mean they parked? Bring him along. No, officer, wait. Officer, this, this is where the check was issued. This is where Mr. Stanley lives. Officer, I'm serious. Mr. Eric. Officer, you have to you believe me. You yourself. You have to believe me. This is the house. Move. Officer, this is the house. I was here some days ago. Officer. I'm serious. This is the house. I'm serious. I'm, you have to believe me. Th that is where the man lives. Very hard to believe. I mean, you saw it yourself. Nobody's in that house. That house is completely deserted. As a matter of fact, the house is for light. Try me with same story next year. Mr. Eric, you are not helping yourself. Please don't disturb me. I'm driving. I know you're getting all emotional, but it might not be what you think. I have seen them together. Philip, I have seen them together in town. That's exactly what I'm saying. What you saw doesn't necessarily mean... I have mean followed them to Eric's place. <sighs> Stayed outside for hours. I'm sure they spent the night together, but that is not the point. All I want is to get the rest of my things from his place. Uh. I haven't seen Eric in a while now. I've checked his home and he isn't even there. You couldn't summon up Corey to tell me to my face that it was over between us. <laughs> well, I know where his new girlfriend lives and I'm going there to see him. See him for what? To tell him that I neither give a damn about him nor do I want him back in my life. I just want to get the rest of my things and him to get on with his, his life. Anna, that isn't such a wonderful idea right now, because I sense trouble. Man, look at it this way. You can't do this without a fight erupting between you and that new woman that he's having an affair with. I don't have any problem with the girl. Anna, you and I know that that's easy to say. Besides, she may not see things your way. Philip. All I want is to collect my things. All right. In that case, I'll go with you to the place. I'm going to call him out, get the keys from him, and you go and collect the rest of your things. That way, we can avoid any chaos. All right? No problem. When do you want us to go there? Right away, if it's okay with you. All right, then. Let me get my keys. using me all this while. Eric, 
shit happens. <laughs> I loved you, Kate. I loved you from the bottom of my heart. I was willing to cross the world for you. To swim the deepest part of the ocean just to save your life. I even became a criminal for you. Why, Kate? Why did you do this to me? Business, boy. Business. You were doing business with my heart? Look, Eric, it's true we were in business. Uh, it's true, you, you fell into our trap and became the fall guy that was, you know, that was to unlock our bumper harvest. But, you know, at some point I was caught in between going on with business and, you know, and listening to my heart. The illness, the tears, the talks. Everything now makes sense to me. No, 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 it's, it's not what you Don't tell me what to think! Eric, look, fine, it, it's true that the tears were supposed to be part of the game. Believe me, most times I cried. It wasn't really because of the business. I cried for you. Because I knew that I was, I was betraying your love for me. Enough of this nonsense! What the hell is going on here? No, no, no! Stop, stop, please, please. Don't shoot him. Look, you can make do with all the money. I don't need them again, okay? I'm, I'm content with Eric's love for me. Don't You little flirting bastard! Forget the rules. Don't mix business with pleasure. I know I, I, I forgot the rules, okay? I'm, I'm sorry I strayed, but. I'm sorry, look, I have to follow my heart. Don't shoot him. Then he would die. Now move it! No, no, no. Move! I'm not going anywhere. Now, Anna, listen, huh? Allow me to do the talking when I get inside, okay? I'll get there, I'll bring him out. You can say whatever it is you want to say to him, gently. Agreed? Agreed. I just want to get this over with. I think Eric is in danger. Let's go get the cops. Hurry up. You bloody vampire! How many more do you have to kill for you to be satisfied? Shut your trap! Or you go down with him. Oh, fine! Why don't you shoot me? Shoot me if you want! But let him go! I don't need your charity, Kate. I would die alone. I would die with my pride and honor. But unlike you, I am not a traitor, a foster, and a murderer. Eric, I don't care what you think about us. Now, move it! Move it! Who are you? Drop the gun! I said drop the 
I'm please, I'm, I'm sorry. I, please forgive me. I, I, I didn't know what I was doing. I was blind. I regret everything I ever did. Now I'm ashamed of myself. You followed your heart, Eric. You followed your dream. It was a shock to me to realize I wasn't a part of that dream. Um, please wait. Hey, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. Eric, I'm ashamed. Uh, move them, move them. Hey, yeah, boys! Move them, move them. Now! Move! Please, I'm sorry. I know I'm not worthy of your forgiveness. But I have a confession to make. All those times that I strayed, I came to realize I had such an angel in you. Please. I need you to put my life back on track again. had worked out between you and that criminal. Will you be here today begging for my forgiveness? Is it the same period you spoke of? I also came to the realization that any man that will wake up few months to our wedding and in love with another woman is certainly not the man for me. It's not the man for me. Please. Please forgive me. I have no future without you. I'm sorry. Please. I know there is a man out there. A man because I'm going to find him. A man I can truly call my own without any fears of insecurity. Eric, I know you've hurt Anna very badly. But that is of the past now. I know she'll find it in her heart to forgive her broken heart. I know I've seen this face before. Maybe my mind He's playing tricks on me The way you work So sexy and so sure So reminiscent of the one In my dreams I wonder how you got here Ever must have said you're so real The one in my dreams Is standing by my side Standing the by one my, my side Myself on a white and dangerous road. 